Okay, so we have the basic recording completed. Now I want to go in and do some basic editing. And by basic editing, I mean taking out the mistakes that I made. So here at the end, I can see there's a, there's a little mistake. So I'm going to get my basic selection tool, which is the straight uh, I-beam tool, come down to the part of the recording that I want to listen to, and if I click and drag across the section, I can highlight it. When it's highlighted, I can click play, and it will only play that section. So, and I can play it over and over again. This is one of those times where I may want to zoom in a little bit on that section so I can really see what's happening. Now at the end here, I sort of stopped and said, okay, but I really don't want that to be part of my podcast. Up here, when I play, Okay, that is my conclusion, or my, you know, I say in next week's episode, we talk about the Fahrenheit scale. Um, so I want to keep that part, but I want to delete a lot of the silence in that end part where I say, okay. So all I have to do to delete is get the selection tool, highlight the part that I want to delete, click the play, the space bar will, is like clicking play, and as I listen to that, I realize that that's the part that I don't want anymore. If I needed to add more or subtract from the selection, when I put my cursor near the edge of the selection, my cursor turns into this um, hand tool. And I can click and drag and adjust what I have selected. So I could do that back here as well if I wanted to adjust um, the end. So I just want this end piece deleted, so I'm just going to select it, press delete. Now, and I do have kind of a lot of empty space here, so I'm going to delete a little bit more of that. Um, now, as I play this, I'm pretty sure that from here to here is my conclusion. Now, I'm going to put a little music in, in between my, the ending and the conclusion to kind of create a transition. Um, but I'm going to listen to this. And I say right here, I say thanks for listening. So that is my ending. So I'm going to highlight that right there. And because I want to put some um, music in between here, I need to split this piece off and then slide it down to create some space there. So I select the part that I want to separate or split, go up to the Edit menu, and down to Split. So it did the split, but it's not quite obvious yet because um, everything's still selected. I'm going to click outside the area, and I can see that dividing line there, which shows me that I've um, made a cut. And then I just want to slide this down. Now to slide this down, I need to switch to the Move tool, which is this double arrow tool, or you can see that it's called the Time Shift tool. I call it the Move tool. So I'm going to click on that to pick it up, come down to the clip that I want to slide, and I'm just going to slide that over a few seconds. All right, I might zoom out a little bit. Now I want to cut out the content area. So if I come back here to the front, and uh, I think my introduction ends somewhere in there, Okay, so actually it ends right here. That's where my conclude, my intro ends and the content starts. So go out to full screen, and I'm just going to again carefully select the part that I want to move or to split, um, and I could listen to it to make sure I got everything I needed. Okay, so now that I have it selected and I've got the piece that I want selected, I'm just going to go to edit, split click off it so it's not selected, pick up the Move tool, and I can slide this these pieces um, down a little bit. Okay, so now I've cut my audio into three pieces. Um, now, a lot of folks will take these clips and put them on their own tracks, and that'll, that's just fine to do, but uh, to keep this first one simple, I'm just going to keep one track with three clips on it. I can slide them around. Okay, one other thing um, we need to know how to do is how to edit from inside here to, to delete pieces. Um, like if I say said um, or I coughed, or I, I made a little mistake here saying um, Anders Celsius's name. So I want to go see if I can edit that out. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's about... Okay, so right here, that fat line, I'm going to zoom in so we can get a better look here. So. Um, Now I've lost my place. It's down here a little ways. OK, 
Okay, so this section, let me get the uh, my selection tool back. This section right here, I sort of have a trouble saying Anders Celsius, but then I say it correctly right after. So what I'd like to do is remove this and have the part where I say it correctly just slide up. So what I need to do is, I might even zoom in a little bit more here. It's actually for, it starts from about right there on where I'm trying to say Celsius. So I just highlight it or select it and I can play it. Okay, so that looks about right and if I needed to adjust the selection I can drag this forward and backwards. That's probably too much, somewhere right in here. Okay, so once I have that selection adjusted, then I can fine tune it and really zooming in like this using this plus button over here really makes this kind of editing much much easier so I've got the area highlighted that I want to remove and now all I need to do is press delete on my keyboard or under edit delete that will work as well and you can see when I deleted that the piece behind it automatically slid together okay, and I can come back up here and you know that ended up working pretty well so you can see I'm just clicking up here along the timeline to replay it so when I click up say at 23 seconds okay so that worked good and I can I can zoom out a little bit okay so really there's two pieces in here um, that, that got pulled out but you can't even tell yeah so when I play it from uh, from a little bit back you can't hear it at all so being able to split a clip into two pieces and also being able to delete parts of a recording that you don't want.